Welcome back to Anvil Quested, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and we have just been visited by a dwarven caravan. It's mid-June, or actually mid-limestone, which they claim is early autumn, but I believe is the summer. So, yeah, whatever. But we have to name our baron, and we're not ready. Uh, as you can see here, I'm getting some more floors here, but I was trying very hard to set this up. So lay pewter is kind of the thing of our fortress, and our baroness, actually, Brunor Battlehammer, has a thing for copper. So even though this furniture here looks like shirt, it is not. It's actually copper furniture, and it's quite good, too. Like, there's a copper throne here. This is a exceptional copper throne. By Crom the Historian. This is a masterful copper table. And the ones that are masterful do say Crom's name. This is an exceptional copper table. I was going to have a copper throne, but then I decided that that was kind of boring, even though he liked it, that the eventual duke or duchess of this fortress should have a steel throne. So I'm working on that right now. But who knows how much time we're going to have. Real quick, another thing I've been doing. What in the... No. No. Another thing I've been doing is... I've... Okay, so I've pretty much cleared out this entire level of the mining efforts that we're putting together. Normally, I don't like mining on floors where there's cavern, but since that's where all the sphalerite is located in this fortress, I'm doing it. So here's the top floor of the cavern, and I'm almost done with this. Once they pull out like this gem down here and a bit more of the metal ore that I'm doing up here in the north east, I'm going to, and these gems here, I'm going to close this down and lock this door to improve FPS. And I moved down to the floor below, and I pretty much got it mostly dug out as well. A few couple things here. You see these blue gems. The reason I did this is because this floor has a lot of sphalerite. And I've dug it all out. Sphalerite is still very rare compared to the horn silver and the tetrahedrite, which is everywhere. But I did manage to get a fair amount of sphalerite out of this. For those of you who uh, can't recall, sphalerite is the ore that turns into zinc, which is what we need to make the lay pewter. And I like the late pewter, and no, that's not, I thought it was spell right, but it's actually gems. Still, I'll take it. And I think that's all for right. Oh, there's another gem right there. And so, there's some more horn silver, or if not horn silver, it's um, native silver. One or the other. More gems. I'm actually going to leave these white gems in the wall because they're not very high quality. They're not worth a ton. So you can see here, I'm being very careful to dig out the sphalerite without necessarily disturbing the cavern. I'm going to try these two gems as well. So, because you don't want to break into the... I mean, you could. I mean, it's not going to kill me. I could immediately wall it up, but... And I've been keeping my stone guys busy. I thought this was hard to tell what was part of our defense and what was part of the caverns and the digging, so I smoothed all this out. But then I said, what the heck, let's just smooth out everything. So this floor is all smoothed out, at least what they can reach. They can't reach this behind the smasher. This floor is all smoothed out. This floor, as you saw, is almost all smoothed out, or is all smoothed out. So is this. So is this. Oh, let's see if our new artifact made it up here. It did! Oh, good, I'll read it to you real quick. Olinga should. This is a pear wood crutch. It means long, tongs fortress. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round chert cabicons and single cut rock crystals, and is encircled with bands of oval chert cabicons and llama wool. This object menaces with spikes of pear wood, high wood, and rose quartz. And the creator of this is Camos II. So congratulations, Camos II. That's our latest artifact. All right, so come on. Let's talk to this liaison. Let's make this happen. 
We're very bad at trading. All these, I presume, are filled with crafts, but the dwarves don't bring them. Let's see. Finished. No, no. I want to look inside. Finished goods. Stockpile? Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> My yellow X is not where the green X Okay, finished goods bin. Yeah, so lead stuff, skull totems. We can't, unfortunately, decorate our our fortress with these because you can't build a totem. I think you can in the Masterwork mod, but you can't in the game. You can do it creatively by setting a stockpile that only accepts totems in certain places where you want them to be. But even that will only work inside the fortress because outside they can be stolen by Kias and stuff. I don't want to deal with that. But still, yeah, these boxes are filled with stuff to trade. And if you look at the move goods to trade, you can see they're all pending. But the dwarves take forever to take them over there. It's, it's ridiculous. But we'll, we'll wait on that. We had a huge harvest recently of pigtails. There, you can see them, actually. Are, are some of them rotting? Do I need more farm service? Withered pigtail. Yeah, I need. I guess I need more farmers. I got three new farmers. I don't know how many damn farmers I need. It's funny because we have close to 200 dwarves. We have 194 dwarves and nothing. And you know what we'll do? Instead of doing a dwarf showcase today, since... We're going to make Brunor the Baroness. We'll do a showcase on Brunor as soon as we're able to, to do that. The, the guy should be here. The diplomat. There he is. Minkot. And he's okay. He's standing outside Surreal Beliefs' office. Ah, there we go. Let's discuss the situation. Okay. Merit deserves a reward, and I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Do you have any dwarves to recommend for elevation? I do indeed. Guess we can't search this. So I think Brunor was... in an animalist, I think? The animalist? Sleeves... Runor Battlehammer. Done. Okay, let's see. The latest news from Speakwald is that a year ago, refugees calling themselves the Ships of Fancying fled from the area just before an army of the Bridled Evils, led by the human Sered Seername, descended upon the place. More refugees. Earth fainted. This was conquered by the Wrath Wraith of Sabres. That's the second group of goblins. Several years ago... Oh, you're giving me many years of data, huh? Lashed Beards was conquered. A few years ago, Udil became the mayor of the Die of Sand, replacing Zasil. Okay. Well, it's just stuff. Stuff's happening. Ah, good. We can finally request stuff. Leather. Yes, all of it. Give it, give it all to us. At this point, I don't care what it comes from. Just give us as much leather as you could possibly handle. We're going to have one big S&M party here at Anvil Quested. The more, the merrier. Because our military needs their underclothing to protect them from goblins and other assorted horrific things. Wow. That's a lot of leather. That's enough, I think. I mean, that just, that's a ton of leather. Do I want wood? I mean, we have plenty of trees to cut down. Let's stay away from that. You know, let's get some gold. We don't have gold here in this fortress. And with gold, we can do a lot of things. I don't think there's anything... Well, aluminum. But we can't, you can't make anything with aluminum. So, yeah. Let's just go with gold. That's fine. Seeds, we definitely want pigtails as much as possible. But we might as well just get it all. Sweet pods, cave wheat, plump helmet. Not dimple cups, though. And not rock nuts for the time being. Ammo? Yeah, as much bolts as you can bring us. Pets? Let's get some yaks. Oops. Oops, oops, what I do? Pets? Yaks? 
and llamas. Do you have llamas? You do, llamas, and alpacas. That's going to be what we're going to be raising here at Anvil Quested. Drinks. We're actually running low on drinks, despite the fact that we have plenty. It's just that our food guys are busy doing other things. So let's get some of that. We don't need gypsum. We get plenty of meat and fish from the humans. Vegetables wouldn't hurt. I mean, just a couple of them. Just a little bit of everything. Just to keep our dwarves' diet interesting. We have plenty of all this stuff. Plenty of all this. Let's get as much lye for soap. Potash for farming. Charcoal. Paralash for glass, I guess. Do we need paralash? Not really. And coke. Alright, done. Thank you so much, sir. Finally. Finally we're getting our leather. Yeah, I know. It's going to cost us a lot. That's fine. We have crafts a go-go. Look over the documents. Let's see. They want large gems, drinks, cut gems, rings, refined coal, backpacks, tools, crowns. Well, you will be getting plenty of crowns because those are crafts. But that's it. Sorry. Gosh, I'm going to hate it when this dwarven economy comes in because then you're going to have to actually give them what they want. All right. So, Brunor Battlehammer. Here's your bedroom. Why wouldn't you be at the top if you are the, the the Baron? Baroness. I'm sorry, but the name Brunor Battlehammer just doesn't sound very feminine. So I keep forgetting that it's actually a Baroness. There we go. Awesome. Married to Krom the Historian, who's actually totally awesome. He's the one who's making all the furniture for them. <laughs> awesome. All right, Brunor. go. Alright, and we're making a steel throne, and we have not made it yet, so for a moment, Brunor's gonna be very unhappy. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess they haven't, he hasn't technically, or she hasn't technically been elevated yet. Alright. So while we wait for that to happen, let's profile her. So let's go to Runor. Battlehammer. All right. Obviously married to Krom, the da uh, daughter of Walder the Old, younger sister of Silver Haze the Second, niece of Lazy Git, niece of Cragger Felcharn. Ant of Dwarf Comic. I think I already did this, didn't I? I feel like I already did this. And Cousins to Grumza, King Tip. Friends with a whole lot of folks. Alright. Oh my goodness. Why should I help? Well, probably because you are the Baroness. Within the last season, she felt pleasure over a splendid table. Pleasure near a fine door. Lots and lots of pleasure. Content after having a fine drink. She was in awe near a completely sublime floodgate. Where is this floodgate everyone is seeing? Oh, it might be the one that I built. The artifact one. She felt uh, pleasure to find seat, amazed near a completely sublime seat, satisfied at work, delighted after having truly decadent drink, and pleasure near a very fine door. She is 66 years old. She is weak. Her copper eyes are round. Her very long hair is tied in a ponytail. Her eyes are protruding, her ears are slightly flattened, her head is somewhat tall, her hair is chestnut, her skin is copper. She's quite durable and quick to heal, but she's very weak. She likes phalerite, copper, brown jasper, acacia wood, clear glass, hornbill, leather, gazelle, hoof, lion, tamarind tooth. Okay. With the color ivory, llamas for their jutting teeth, awesome, we're going to have tons of llamas, and lynx for... They're ear tufts. When possible, she prefers to consume Kia, Soul, and Dwarven beer. I think we knew that already. She absolutely detests rats. She has a great deal of patience and a good intellect, but she has poor focus. I think we looked at this already because we were determining whether she was good for the fortress or not. So that's Brunor. So now we just have to basically wait till this furniture is completed here. Until she's elevated. Which, when does that happen? When the guy gets off the 
the map. Yeah, still not, still not there. And we're never going to have Dwarven Justice. So, Surreal's been mandating things. Short swords, but I've been making short swords. So I don't know what his problem is. I keep producing them. Akiasta just had a baby. That's awesome. Alright, let's see here. Akiasta. Or, what? No, 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 no. Akiasta. Alright, so your husband's Urist Silverharp. So, your child is a son. So, it'll keep his... So, hmm. How do I mix those names up? <laughs> uh, Alright, Logan. You are going to be... Akiasto. Silverheart. And your profession is just a baby. Alright, so we have... Welcome to the Fortress, Akiasto. <laughs> that didn't take? Really? Didn't work? Yeah. Akiasto. Excellent. Okay, we're moving on up to the east side. Okay. Oh, and also I've changed what I'm going to do here. I'm actually moving the military in here, the entire military, and of course their spouses, if their spouses are non-military. And then if there's any left over, I'll put legends, and then I'll put legends obviously in the large rooms up here. But I need this steel throne. Come on guys, it's in the top of the list here. Our Baroness does not have a throne room, and somebody get rid of this copper throne. Oh man. Is the sarcophagus done? No. Alright. What is going on, people? Oh! Congratulations! Anvil Quested has become a barony. We got the iron stand, weapon rack. The statues. Yeah, I'm going to put statues in there, too. This is sucky. No, there right, we go! Bruinor Battle Hammer. And she requires... Yeah, I know. I know you require these things. And I want to get them to you. I really do. But my people... Well, your husband, I should say, is, you know, off doing whatever he's doing. And he's the only one decent enough to do it. All the rest kind of suck at it, so he would have bad stuff. Let's see. Let's do a quick search for Krom. What are you doing, Krom? He's constructing a lay pewter chest. Alright, so he's... He's working hard. He's doing the best he can. Hopefully, Brunor will give us a little bit of time with which to make this happen. I mean, we're only dwarf. Dwarven, right? We're only dwarven. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? On the Great Tower of Anvil Quested, I got rid of the ramp, but now I have to build floor over it. And then I have to get rid of this floor here and put a wall so it completely seal it in, and then we'll be done. And this is working out pretty well, too. Alright, let's trade. Have you guys brought anything here? Oh, wait, first we have to ask Tokshin to come hang out. Let's see what we have here. Alright, so we have four bins. See how slow they are? I mean, four bins, and Tokshin's at a party. Why not? Let's see, where would this party be? No, Toshin's not here. Maybe it's up here? No. It's all the way down here, then? No. What the hell is this party? And why wasn't I invited? Toshin. Okay, let's go to Toshin. Okay, so the party apparently is in the storage. Or maybe he's, he's going to the party now that he has a drink. He's got his drink. And he's gone. Oh well. Ah, the life of a Dwarven Fortress. This one's probably going to go a little long. It's already 20 minutes. 
but we're gonna have to wait for Tokshin, and we're gonna have to wait for some furniture to get built. Come on, Krom, make it happen. Why are you... I don't know anymore. Oh, I think maybe stuff comes off the list of jobs when it goes on the workshops list. Well, we do have the armor stands and the weapon racks. It looks like, right? Yeah, iron weapon rack. They're not particularly good. There's an exceptional and a pretty good one. Steel statue of surreal beliefs. Iron cabinet. Copper throne, copper table. We could do... We could at least put that up. Alright, so... Build table. Copper table. And throne. Copper throne. Okay, so that'll be their dining room. Did I set that up already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. And... Assuming that the throne is going to be right in the middle... We're going to build... So the throne will be right here. So on either side of it, we'll build the armor stand. Is it iron? Iron armor stand, yeah. I guess. I mean, I, I thought I was doing lay pewter for that. Let's see. Iron armor stand. Lay pewter... No? Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Marcus is getting old. Doesn't remember things very much. Build armor stand. Iron armor stand. Build weapon rack. Iron weapon rack. Alright. Of course, she will not see them as hers until the throne is put in. But we're waiting for that. So you can see the sword, sword Storf icon, that's so cool. I'm a Swords Master. I just love the look of it. Who is that? Ronan Copperblade, sleeping. He has a steel mail shirt. See, his leather's all messed up. We need to make more leather stuff. Oh, which reminds me. We need to go and see if Tokshin's ready to trade. I can't tell. Too much going on. No, now he's sleeping. Oh, there's, there's Brunor. You can see there's a little Baron icon. It's cool. Really wish these guys would work faster. But it is what it is. Tokshin, come on, dude. I wonder how long they sleep for. Hopefully not too long. Zon McLean has become a planter. Really? I don't want Zon McLean to be a planter. Oops. Okay, food service. Okay, good. So even though it says he's become a planter, it doesn't actually mean he has become... There's Tokshin! He got up just in time to trade. Okay. Hey, guys. Why can't we trade? I want to trade with you guys. I like trading. What? Why are we not trading? There we go. Alright, first let's see what we have. So we have pig bone. So we've made a bunch of stuff out of pig bone. Bracelets, earrings. Let's look and see if we can find a masterful one. This one. This is a masterful pig bone earring created by Captain Communism. So Captain Communism is exporting his masterful and exceptional bone crafts across the world. There's a dog skull totem. It's very cool. We have some Gneiss or Gneiss stuff and orthoclase stuff dog skull totem dog bone crown let's see, let's see what a good totem looks like view this is a masterful dog skull totem created by captain communism okay well so not too much not too much definition let's trade that 
So this isn't even all of our stone crafts. This is just all skulls and stuff. This is a superior quality pig bone figurine of a Vaffy Beige Sieges. The item is a superiorly designed image of a Vaffy Beige Sieges, the elf, and Isaac Callskunk, the willful yell, the rock. Yes, our good old rock friend. Seeing him again. Let's trade this. And here's some lead stuff that's uh, being put together by. Let's see if we can find one that's exceptional. By Grumzub. No? No, I guess Grumzub isn't quite up to exceptional yet, although I thought he was. Let's trade that. And that. A bunch of granite stuff. That's good. Good way to get rid of all that excess stone that we don't need. Wow, this is worth a lot. Okay, this should be fine. 32,000. Let's get some... Do they have any gold on them? They have rose gold. Rose gold's kind of cool. Let's take it. Gold. I have to create stockpiles for all these other non-native bars. Gold. Okay, cool. What else do we need? Ah, here we go. Boar? No. Donkey? No. Dog? No, we have plenty of those. Water buffalo? That'd be kind of neat, but no. Alpaca? Yes. Yak bull? Uh-huh. And I guess that's it for today. Dwarven rum, dwarven beer. Dwarven wine, beer, ale, wine. They changed this. It used to show you the first letters, and then it would just stop. Now it tries to squeeze it all in by compressing words. I've finally gotten used to reading it, so I know what everything is. Don't want any milk rum. Yes, I do. Beer, rum, beer, rum, rum, rum. The more I purchase, the less my food service people have to work on alcohol and instead I can focus on getting those pigtails harvested. Okay, I think that's it for that. Do you have any bolts with you guys today? Just a bunch of stuff. High boots. Caps. No? No bolts, huh? Or did I miss them? High boots. Short swords. Buckets. No, I guess no bolts. Okay. Bags. Perfect. Let's go with... No seeds? Oh, here we go. Pigtail seeds. Yep, more of those. Sweet pod seeds. Not a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff. Nothing, really. Where are some more seeds? Sweet pod seeds. Pigtail seed. Oops. Pigtail seeds. And that's it. Dimple cup spawn. Okay, cool. I'll take some gypsum, why not? Sweet pod seeds, gypsum. Cave wheat seeds. Cave wheat seeds. Plump helmet spawn. Gypsum, plump helmet spawn. Cave wheat seeds. Yeah, normally I don't film this because it does get a little boring, and I'm sorry about that. In fact, it looks like we're almost at 30 minutes, so I will do the rest of the trading off-screen and uh, decorating the chambers of our new Baroness Brunor Battlehammer. So, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Have a good one.